Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a different video idea for you guys and I'm basically just going to be doing a review and a demo in one video. So today I am doing it on a product which I haven't really, haven't really heard much about it just recently but it was one of those items that was quite popular like five ten years ago maybe and it is the Instyler and this is I'm not sure uh what model it is um i'm pretty sure it's the 32 millimeter barrel which is quite a large barrel but i will find the link for the product for you i believe it was about 25 pounds again i will find a link for you i got mine off ebay and it arrived like the same week but i'm not sure if they stocked like quite a few of them if not i will find like another buy that i was looking at so basically it is a product and i purchased it because i have a lot of problems with the bones in my body so i find it very hard to dry my hair with the hair dryer so this was going to be my tool i was going to use it as kind of like a hair dryer and like let my hair dry a little bit and then i would style it without having to use heavy hair dryer and a brush and then go in and straighten everything so this was like three products in one for me that was the reason why i got it and it has been really good i used to wash my hair and then about 10 15 minutes later i would use this which i have now stopped doing i just felt like my ends were drying out a little bit too um much compared to what they were before i started using it so i definitely suggest i have dry hair to start with or very air dried hair as well because you're going to get less damage that way also use a heat protector and i also use a serum to keep it nice and smooth and keep my hair nice and nourished so basically what the product does is it is a brush and a barrel and this barrel turns so basically when it's turned on i'll show you you can hear it, i don't know if you can see it it's basically spins while you're doing your hair so the heat is sort of distributed through your hair nice and evenly and you can create really gorgeous sort of blow dried like salon blow dried hair which is the reason why i wanted it now you can straighten your hair with this product you just use it straight down i twist it all the way around which you will see in the demo and you can also curl your hair by wrapping your hair around the barrel and then holding it down and letting it spin and then taking it out after about 10 seconds i believe it is haven't tried that out but when i do i will probably film it for you so yeah so i really enjoy this product like i said i'm now starting letting my hair dry a little bit more before i then go in and use this product just so i don't damage my hair any more than it already is because it has bleach all in the ends of my hair if you remember or if you've watched me for a little while I had really dark red hair which you can kind of see just a little bit peeking through it's growing out gradually but um I bleached I had some bleach highlights put in to lighten the whole thing and lift the whole thing so I don't want to damage my hair any more than what that bleach has already done so I like to use heat protectors and serums and creams and everything to nourish my hair and masks and stuff like that and it is a very good idea when you're going to be using a lot of heat on your hair now i tend to wash my hair now i tend to wash my hair then um say go about my day and just let it air dry so let it sort of twist it up in a bun and go about my day i then sleep on it and i then style my hair like this the day after and just add a little bit of dry shampoo to my roots to add a little bit more volume now you can obviously add a lot more volume if you like i have very thin hair so i don't have a lot of volume naturally um but i don't really like super volume in my hair so yeah enough rambling let's get back onto track so basically i will allow it to dry overnight and then the next day i will then style my hair now i've styled my hair obviously today for this demo and i will be good for like the next couple of days and my hair will be nice and styled as long as i've got dry shampoo because i do get quite oily roots quite quickly but as long as i've got dry shampoo i can rock this for a good two three days um and it is perfect it still is like a salon blow dry just a little bit sort of messier because 
because my hair is so thin I get a lot of flyaways quite easy so sort of the next day and the next day they just gradually get crazier and crazier um but yeah so it lasts a really long time for the price for this product it was about 25 pounds which I don't think is actually that bad for the product and it has really helped with um the weight of my hair dryer was extremely heavy and basically what happens with my arms is that when my arms are above my head for a long time the circulation cuts out and the pulse cuts out and um i start losing feelings in my hands and i start getting pins and needles and stuff so basically i wanted a product that i could just quickly do like this and didn't have to hold up above my head for a long time like I was doing with my hair dry. So that was my main reason of buying this and I'm 100% glad that I did buy it. It is a life changer. My hair is pretty much good all the time. Um, obviously there's the odd day when I just sort of shove it up in a bun. Um, but yeah, I just, I really love it and I don't think I could live without it now. It's just, it gives my hair such a nice salon quality um blow dryer i'll see if i can sort of show you so it sort of has like you know it sort of curls under like it would if you were at the salon and stuff and it's just oh, i can't help but play in my hair but then that makes it greasier and oh what was i gonna say there are a couple of cautions um that i want to say to you so there's a couple of pros pros is it's basically three products in one um you know it's like a hair dry it's a brush and it's also a curler straightener whichever and also um for the price you're getting a lot of use out of this and i think it's definitely worth the price the cons are you can burn yourself very easily because it does get very hot now there are two heat settings and i always seem to chuck it on the highest um but there are two heat settings i'm not sure what the um actual temperature is so i'll put it in the description box below if i can find out but yeah so i always tend to put it on the hottest setting and I've got a nice little burn up on my forehead where I do my fringe because I sort of curl my fringe forward so it adds a little bit more volume to it um, but yeah so I got a nasty burn on my forehead I think I burn it somewhere else as well might have been, yeah it might have been on my forehead before so if you see a red mark in some tutorials that is because I've burnt it using this product so be very careful because it does get very hot it does come with a little heat mat which I do place it on for it to heat up and it also comes with um this guard which I don't really use because I kind of feel like it just gets in the way it basically just clips oh clips on like that but I find that it kind of gets in the way but maybe I should start putting it on and then I won't burn myself so much but yeah um the cons are that you can burn yourself very easily and also when you are curling your hair you want to be careful to get your hair let me just take this off to get your hair wrapped around this nicely and flowing around this if you're doing the trick that I'm doing which is basically picking up your hair and you're twisting it round like that now you want all of the hair to be like that you don't want your hair coming up and underneath because it will get really knotted and um it just it can damage your hair and it can pull your hair out as i've noticed when i've got too close to either end of the barrel it kind of nips on my hair and pulls it out so i've noticed that and also if you get your hair sort of wrapped round funny it can also pull your hair out that way as well but apart from that i haven't really noticed much damage to my hair like i said i've now switched how i use the product so i'm now using it on more dry hair rather than using it when it's having to dry and boil like the water out of my hair pretty much so yeah so that is my review of the instyler in my honest opinion i purchased this product completely myself and everything that i use in this tutorial and all of my tutorials um but yeah in my honest 100% opinion I love this product and I would recommend it to anyone that is looking for a really quick and easy tool to use to give you that perfect sort of salon blowout look um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this review and if you want to check out my demo on how I use it then please keep on watching okay so when I start out I normally have um hair that is air dried or um hair that i washed yesterday and i've sort of just let it air dry overnight so first thing i'm going to do is i have to brush it out and um 
just brush it out I normally put it in like a bun so I can do my makeup or get ready for the day like wash my face and stuff so I've just taken it out and I've brushed it all through and I'm now going to go in with a heat protectant spray the one I'm using at the moment is the VO5 heat protect styling spray so I'm just going to focus most of it on the bottom but I'm going to spray it throughout as well but I'm focusing most of it on the bottom so I'm just going to brush that through to make sure that all of that product gets dispersed through my hair evenly I've got quite a lot of hair and it's very fine I normally put it up in like a ponytail just hold it with my hand like it's in a ponytail and then I'll just brush through it I find it easier um, and then all I'm going to do before I start styling my hair is I've turned on the InStyler and I put it on the hottest setting so there's two settings on it you can click at once and it'll be sort of a medium heat I'm not sure what the heat is but if I find out I will put it somewhere in this video and then you can click it twice and it goes to the hottest heat I tend to go for the hottest heat setting so while that's heating up I do all these steps and then I'm just going to find my normal sort of parting in my hair because mine has sort of air dried overnight it is a little bit more knotty and it gets kind of thick when it's got a lot of texture so again i'm just using and i'm using a tangle teaser to do this i find it a lot um softer on my hair it's nowhere near as harsh so once you have got the pattern in your hair what you want to do is section your hair up so I tend to leave like a nice sort of amount at the bottom, but I do pin most of my hair up. I'm not sure if this clip's gonna hold it because it's got only like one clip. Okay. What I'll do is, this is what I tend to do, is I'll get the top section, sort of go from like the end of my eyebrows backwards until they meet at the back. Then I'll get this bit of hair, I just kind of fold it in half and then just twist it so that I can secure it on top like so and then I will go behind my ears and sort of in the middle like there and then I will go back again and section another bit off and again I'll just kind of twist it up and it just looks like super attractive and I've somehow got a hair clip in my hair oh well that'll stay there for now so this is like the section that i'm left with and again i just brush it out because i have bleached hair on the ends i want to make sure that none of my hair is knotty whatsoever because if you are applying a very high heat to a knotted area it's going to really damage your hair so I just tend to, like when I'm just curling my hair, I just tend to split it over my shoulders like so. And when the InStyler is heated up, it'll have a steady red light on it just here. And then that means it is heated up and ready to go. So what I tend to do is, like I said, section it over both of my shoulders. And then I will go from the back and take sort of about a one inch piece maybe a little bit more or a little bit less I sort of vary them and I put the black barrel towards the back of my hair and when you clamp the barrel will start turning so I clamp it down and twist it I twist it about 180 I think or is it a 360 hang on let me do another one and I'll tell you Now I do 360 so I go all the way around the hair and it starts um, sort of drying it. So if you see steam coming off it's because your hair has either got like oils on it or um, it's a little bit damp. But I have found that I was sort of using it as a hair dryer in the past and I didn't find that it was damaging my hair very much at all. But I am sort of getting into the habit of drying my hair or air drying my hair first a little bit. Um, because I was finding that I would have to do the steps so many times to get it dried and the style that I want it to be in. So after I've done that side, I tend to just flick them back over my shoulder after I've done each piece. So I'll then move on to the next side. 
bend the barrel backwards and this is going to create curls that go away from your face and it's not going to be like big curls you can curl your hair with this but it's just going to be more like a professional blow dry which is what I like and I've been wearing my hair like this a lot just recently So you just gradually pull it through your hair. You don't want to be really like um, stop and starting and sort of janking at the hair because it will go bumpy and it won't look very nice. So you want to do it all in one smooth movement if you can. And just creates like a really gorgeous sort of like blow dry effect. <laughs> So now I've done that section, I tend to flip it over to one side of my shoulders and I'll take the next section down but I'll hold it, I won't drop it straight away. Basically what I do is I put my finger down the middle of that section, so I've got half and half, and I put one side down and I clip this other bit back up because I don't like to curl my hair on top of already curled areas just because I find that I pick up the areas that I've already done and I'm adding extra heat and damage to the hair that I've already done and I find it just gets really tangled and really messy so basically I just move everything to one side and then I'll then start on the other side so again I'm taking about one inch pieces they're a little bit thicker now um, because there's a little bit more hair in this section so okay Take one inch and just brushing it through making sure there are no tangles because that's the last thing you want. So I'm just going to the root of my hair as close as I can get and I'm just twisting the hair through the barrel making sure that the barrel is at the back and it's going to create gorgeous sort of blow dry away from your face which opens up your face. Basically just going to keep repeating the steps over and over again. I will keep the clips in but I'll just speed it up so you can see what I'm doing and then if I'm doing anything different I will then come back and let you know. And you can always go over bits again if they're not quite curled the way you want them to be and it still makes them look really nice and put together. And then basically what I'm going to do is because this is second day hair I'm just going to spray a little bit of dry shampoo into my roots just to add <clears throat> a little bit of um, power to soak up any oils that I may have um, because obviously it's second day hair. And then when I'm kind of doing the um, top section I like to add a little bit more lift to my roots so I sort of curl underneath the root if that makes sense um so i'm basically just lifting the hair up to add a little bit more volume in to my root area and also because the layer is thicker on the top I do do it a couple more times than I would usually do so I sort of run through that um, section more than I would normally on the lower layers and then when I get to the fringe section I kind of curl it a little bit towards my face um, I feel like it gives a little bit of a boost to my fringe area um, so I just put the barrel at the front of the hair and then I just curl as I would normally do, but I'm just curling it towards my face to add a little bit more volume here. And you can see the difference that it makes between how my hair was and how it is now. It's just so much silkier and you can see that it really transforms um, like your hair from being really unruly and really frizzy, like if you've dried it up and it just creates a really sleek look. So I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my hair. With the top sections, um, like right at the top of my head, I tend to, section them up into smaller areas I've just realised I'm talking with the song on one second um, I tend to section them up into smaller sections and I will then curl my hair or straighten my hair straight upwards to start with and then I will then do the same thing but I'll add a twist to the barrel so I'll show you with this section I just go straight up I think don't think you can see because I think I'm off the camera but and then with this, I'll then go under, and then I'll then wrap. 
just adds a little bit more volume um, and because this hair is quite thick on top of my head it just is easier to do it that way okay and then when I have finished doing the styling to all of my hair I will then brush it out I do it with a tangle teaser and I just kind of do it gently and I kind of wait until it's all sort of cool ish it just gives it a little bit more of a natural look and then I'm just going to add a little bit more dry shampoo in the top brush it through again and the dry shampoo I am loving is the Batiste I tend to go for the pink floral and flake blush one but that is now gone and to finish everything I just add a little bit of a serum through my ends to just help protect them and moisturize them even more and I'm just using the Tresemme Argan Oil Smooth Salon Smooth Serum I just add a little pump um, to a couple of pumps depending on how um, dry my hair is feeling because some days it goes a bit dry um, like if I've curled it the day before or something and I'm just running it through mostly the ends and I sort of run my palms together and then I just run it through the ends of my hair so that is the demo for my inside and how I tend to use it pretty much every day or every other day I do this technique so I really hope you enjoyed this review and demo for the InStyler if you want any other review and demo videos on other products then please let me know in the comments below so I hope you all enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon okay 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 Okay, let's go. No! And that's when you run out of dry shampoo. <laughs> How have I only been filming for an hour? I feel like I've been filming for years. <laughs> oh, wow. There's something in my eyes. <laughs>